All right, so this is how you take the bumper, front bumper off of an LC500. Mine's a 2019, I'm assuming it's the same for all of them. So you got these kind of, what are these, compound clips or whatever here? Trim panel clips. So you got one, two, three, four. You're gonna take the whole panel off? Yeah. We're just kinda we're just kinda randomly figuring it out as we go here. Also it is the fourth of July almost, so excuse the firework sounds. We're not in a war zone. So you got all these little clips along here, like this. You just put it in the middle, pops it, and that's how it works. So here we go. As you can tell, my front bumper's got some, uh, you know, a little bit of stuff wrong. The toe clip we took off so we could paint match it as well. But so then this whole front trim panel will come off, looks like, in one piece. Mm. There you go. And then underneath we got this area of stuff. So now we have some actual bolt heads here. Here it looks like. Looks like some clips right there. And more clips. And I think that oh, go ahead. might be it. I don't know. Right, so these are 10 millimeter, these four bolts right here. And as far as bumper goes, it ends right here. So these probably don't have to come off. But I don't know. Some kind of, uh, oh yeah. A little bit. And this is just the rubber molding that's underneath the hood. Kind of keeps the hood from slamming down upon your body panels, I Mach guess. Five. Yeah. At Mach 5, yeah. <laughs> For those. Oh, these are explosives. Did you know that? Yeah. Whenever you hit somebody, it pops your hood up to where they can't, like, they won't roll and hit your windshield, basically. Really? Yeah. If you hit somebody in the front like a deer, it's a safety thing. Fancy yeah. So there's four of these clips along each side there that's holding your rubber molding. Is it four of them? Yeah. Show me the underside of that hand. So this is the underside. So it has like these pre-made inserts for each clip. So if they fall out, just put it back in this little hole that's there for it. You what? Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah, I need to get one of those bumper guards for it. This is my new front bumper here. All painted and new and good looking. So there's going to be a series of 10 millimeter bolts underneath here. And you can see the condition of like, you know, just everyday wear on a car like this. Low life. Yeah, you know? And it's not, I mean, it's not even that, I mean, it's pretty low, but it's not like super duper low. So we're gonna take all these 10 millimeter bolts along the bottom off. All right, so there's these kind of flathead looking 
ones behind the front fender here or the front lip wheel whatever you call it gotta take those off there's a 10 up here and there's a 10 millimeter up there as well there's two two 10 millimeters So these flathead ones, you screw them and then this, like you unscrew and this will come loose. And then there's a 10 millimeter up there somewhere. Oops, sorry. Um, problems remembering where everything's at. Oh. I said cars apart six months later got to put them back together. Yeah. I'm gonna try and separate this with some plastic pry tools. Oh, what is that? Hey, what holds the oil grain? I'll show you. So this clip's gonna come out. Yeah, it's like, it's like what clips the bumper to the fender. Okay, so this clips the bumper to the fender up in there, and the 10 millimeter bolt was in here? Yeah. Right, okay, yeah. And plastic pry tool, working it out slowly. Boom, boom. Horrifying sound, but you know. So that, yeah. So that's the mechanism how that flathead thing works. You turn it and then it just pops out. The ultimate tool removal, tool. clip removal tool. Just separating this front lip, I guess. So on this left side, driver's side, there's a weird bolt right behind this one second clip up, it looks like. There's a weird placement of a bolt that we're trying to figure out. Also, this clip came from, I think we have to focus on it. This came from up here or down low? I mean, either or. Uh, that one's right there. Well, there should be two of them. Oh, so there's, there's two, two clips along two. here. Yeah, so that second one is fuck is messing with us. Yeah, it's this one. Okay. Okay, shortcut. Let me get a shot of what was behind there. It was messing with us. So there's this clip right here. It's facing, this is, this clip is what this is right here. And it's in there and you gotta get that out somehow. That was horrible. So we just cut the two little tabs from both sides of this that were connecting it in. And then we got the 10 mils up top. Another clip. That clip comes out. All these funky ass clips. I don't know how you remember how where everything goes. I would be lost. Well, there's only so many. There's only so many parts of the bumpers. Yeah. No matter if it's you know a Lexus like this or a Nissan Altima. Yeah, true. But but I would imagine like an Altima wouldn't have these. No. Yeah, they would just have little BMW, push clips. Yeah. yeah. Usually BMWs have something like that. Uh. But when you put, you know, it takes a car a couple. You get the knack for it, yeah. It's like when people ask me how to work a camera. I'm like, yeah, I don't know, you just do it. You just do it. You just do it. <laughs> and then same thing with this side with the plastic pry tool. Working it loose. You're on Instagram. You look really hot. You look so photogenic, babe. I do.
<laughs> okay, back to man stuff. <laughs> Just wedging pieces out here. We'll see what pieces are pieces, and that made a lot of sense. I guess we'll see if this is all one piece or if this comes apart as its own piece. Okay. So your little teardrop thing would be easily removable if you needed to, probably, or whatever the side trim above. That, that is. So if you needed to replace your teardrop looking thing, so there is one screw hole at the bottom of it, right there. So there's going to be a screw from the back side. Yeah. So we're going to leave that piece on and just take the whole bumper off with that along with it. Boom. And it's loose. Dear goodness. might just come off boom 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 there we go I think it looks cooler without the bumper honestly <laughs> look at that it looks like Darth Vader if he uh, got a lip job if he got Botox in his lips what's the what's the what's the lip stuff then yeah this looks like Darth Vader with lip filler this looks like a duck a black duck it honestly looks pretty cool with the bumper off. <laughs> Welcome back, fucking Lexus squad. Back to smash the like. Yeah. All right. Okay, bonus content. A little bit of bonus content on the inside of your bumper here. This being the top, this being the bottom. These are your two parking sensors right here and right here. This is your radar, your whole radar unit right there. And these are harnesses for your blinkers side blinkers whatever you'd call them running lights side blinkers i don't think they're running lights another side blinker harness and this and this are two more i believe and mine on i think what are these parking sensors so it has four parking sensors up front um this one right here on mine came loose so if you saw from the video it looked kind of you know a little uh caddy wampus down in there but turns out if you just get inside of here, all it is is just a flat panel. And you could just put some adhesive on it and just slap her back on there. Heck, maybe some double sided 3M tape might work for a while. Yeah. So just a little bit of advice for you. So this is what the inside of the bumper looks like in case you need a, let me uh, give you an overhead shot here. <laughs> There's your diagram. All right, guys. Well, that's how you take a bumper off of an LC500. Again, it's my old one. New one going on. Um, any questions you have, throw them down in the comments. If I remember where each bolt goes or something, you know, whatever, just ask me a question. Uh, thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye.